Hello, I'm Mrs Chapman and I'm going to talk to you about reading in reception. So in reception we work towards the early learning goals and the reading early learning goal is that children read and understand simple sentences. They use phonic knowledge to decode regular words and read them aloud accurately. They also read some common irregular words. They demonstrate understanding when talking with others about what they have read. So our aim is that by the end of the reception year, most of the children in reception will have reached that early learning goal. Some children won't quite be there yet and some children may have exceeded it. In order to achieve this goal, the children will be able to demonstrate these skills, continuing a rhyming string, hearing and saying the initial sound in words, for example, hearing the k at the beginning of cat, segmenting the sounds in simple words, so that is um, listening to the sounds in cat and hearing k at, and blending them together, that's the other way around for reading, so re-seeing the word cat and reading it by blending together k at cat, and knowing which letters represent some of them. Linking sounds to letters, naming and sounding the letters of the alphabet. Although we do put emphasis on the sounds and the phonemes, the children do need to know the letter names as well, such as A, B, C. Beginning to read words and simple sentences, using vocabulary and forms of speech that are increasingly influenced by their experience of books, enjoying an increasing range of books, and knowing that information can be retrieved from books and computers. So our reading curriculum across the year is based around teaching the children these things. So at Stanford Infants, we place um, great emphasis on the enjoyment of reading. Every classroom has a cosy book corner where we have a range of genres of books, different styles. Everyone has traditional tales, poetry, magazines, non-fiction, and there are lots of texts for the children to enjoy. We have lots of story times throughout the day. Books are read to the children by both the class teacher and the teaching assistant. We all love reading, so lots of book enjoyment all around. There's lots of book talk as we read the book, so we discuss the theme of the book, the setting, the characters and the plot. And then with key texts, we use narrative cards, such as this, which help us to really think about key features of the story, such as when the story takes place, where it takes place, who is in the story, what happens, and what happens at the end. We do shared reading of class texts and use big books such as this to model reading skills to the children. We retell um, stories using story maps. So at the moment, a lot of our learning is focused around the text Elmer by David McGee. And we have created story maps in our classroom, such as the one behind me here, um, where uh, we've used pictures um, as prompts to help the children to remember the story. And we've added actions, Makaton actions too. So the children at the moment have learned a shortened version of Elmo that they hopefully will be able to retell to you at home. We also use small world and role play to support the retelling of stories and encourage the children to create their own imaginative stories. Um, in school as well, we have group reading and we will be starting this in reception after half term. Um, we have inspirational group names, amazing, fantastic, marvellous, super terrific, which encourage the children to feel um, like they are readers straight away. Um, and the groups change frequently. We um, evaluate them on a regular basis, thinking about the children's specific needs and moving them around. Um, this is called Book Browse and we build up to 30 minutes every day. This is obviously not at the beginning, but by the end of the reception year, that is our aim. And when the children are not reading with a teacher, they are either sharing books with friends or doing a reading follow-up task or a phonics task with a teaching assistant. The books that we read are books like this, um, where all of the children in the group have the same text uh, and we read it together. Um, reading at home is incredibly important as well. So um, after half term, we will be sending home reading wallets in book bags, which look just like this, but with a your child's name on. Um, uh, we use coloured home readers. So your child will select books from a box just like this. Um, and will change their books weekly with an adult in school, but they're also welcome to change their books whenever they like. So most children will start off on a pink book, but um, they will move through the, their reading scheme and the colours at the rate that is um, relevant for them. Um, 
So some children will start on pink and some children may start on a different colour. Within your reading wallet, in here, there is a reading behaviour sheet which has some tips and targets for how you can support your child's reading at home. So this is the pink reading card which says things such as, to, um, I'm learning to find the title, I'm learning that print is from left to right, I recognise a few tricky words on sight. So as your child takes home different coloured books, they will take home a different reading sheet to help you at home. Please, as well as this, please make sure you still continue to share and enjoy other books together at home as well. We really value the importance of all books um, and all reading. So bedtime stories, reading to your child as well as them reading to you is just as valuable. I hope that was helpful. Thank you. Bye.